I'm Steve Osinsami. We are in Biloxi, Mississippi, and behind me is US 90, and in front of that highway is the Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane Nate is now a Category 1 storm. It's about 90 miles south of here with wind speeds of up to 90 miles an hour at its core. Uh, we've been watching this all day and all night, but I will say that for a hurricane that we've been expecting to bring, what, bring great storm surge to this region, so far we really haven't seen that much action, not that much storm surge and certainly not that much rain. The forecast for storm surge uh, in, in some parts of this region were between 7 and, 5, 7 and 11 feet of storm surge were, were expected in places. We were also expecting uh, a, a quite a bit of rain, especially on the eastern portion of this storm where it, appear, it appears most, most of the rain bands uh, are located. We have seen some tornado watches uh, across parts of Alabama, but no tornado warnings. There have been a few reports of water spouts that have been seen in Alabama. Uh, but in New Orleans, for example, where that city was very concerned about storm surge flooding the city, a curfew that was uh, that was that was put on earlier today has since been canceled by the mayor of New Orleans, and that's good news, of course, for that town that was very concerned about whether their pumps, a dozen of which weren't working, were going to be able to keep that city dry. We are still uh, a few hours away from the center of this storm uh, hitting this region, so things could change. I just took a walk to the Gulf, to the beach here, uh, just to take a look. And while the, while the waves have certainly moved up closer to the, to the tip of the beach, by no means are they anywhere close to covering the highway, which is one of the things that we were concerned about. Uh, when we first arrived in Biloxi, uh, we actually were staying at a hotel at one of the casinos that's down the road, uh, but all of the casinos were forced to close, and the hotel we were staying at was closed. Uh, we ended up moving to the facility that we're at now, this hotel that we're at now, that is uh, in front of the Gulf along, along 90. Um, we also had uh, one of our producers who um, went to uh, one of the uh, Walmarts in town and, and reported that they also were closing early and there were lots of people, of course, trying to stock up uh, on supplies. I think in this part of the region, th this may have caught some people off guard a bit, but at the same time, the, the other reality is that uh, so far, this storm hasn't presented itself in a way that would scare people into being that much concerned. Uh, there is, of course, the chance that this area could lose power tonight because we are expecting those high winds to come to come through. Right now, the center of the storm um, is expected to pass to the west of us, as I understand it, to the west of us. But our meteorologists tell us tonight that this storm is fighting for its survival. It has already made landfall at the mouth of the Mississippi. It's expected to make another landfall in another couple of hours where it will then continue to weaken. It is moving fast. At one point it was moving about 26 miles an hour and the National Weather Service uh, has clocked this as the fastest moving hurricane ever to appear in the Gulf. It's still moving at about 20 miles an hour and that's good news and bad news. The good news for uh, many of these, th th this area here is that the storm isn't going to linger and drop rain. It's going to move out quickly. Um, and the bad news is that areas inland, Birmingham and points north, they're probably going to see a little bit more of this storm than they would have otherwise if it had, if it had time to weaken uh, over land. So we're continuing to watch this storm. We're continuing to, to watch it fight its wind shear as it continues to weaken because of that. Uh, the water temperature closer to the, the to the shoreline is a little bit cooler than it was two three weeks ago, so that's good news. There was some concern that this storm might intensify all of a sudden. That's not expected. We're still expecting to be a Category One when it hits here tonight. The center of it passing uh, very close to here, uh, but all indications so far, again so far, appear to suggest that this might not be the the catastrophe that many people had feared. But as they always say, it's better to prepare for the worst. So I'm Steve Osinsami in Biloxi. We're gonna to continue to watch this tonight. Uh, stay with us, stay with ABC News. Uh, be sure to catch us on Good Morning America and World News Tonight tomorrow. I'm Steve Osinsami in Biloxi.